Hello lovelies, today I will be showing you what is inside my violin case. And I really hate long introductions, so without further ado, let's jump right in. This is the case. Here's my music stand I was just using as a tripod. BT Dub's great hack for any vlogging musicians who don't have a tripod. This is from American Case Company. It is six or seven years old, and it's generally served me pretty well. So here's the inside. When I was looking at cases, I pretty much had three criteria um, for what I wanted in a case. First, obviously, that it would be functional and serve its purpose. Um, second, that it would have lots of storage space on the top for music. And then finally, that it would be a beautiful forest green color, which it is. On the upper part of the case, of course, there are four slots for bows. I used to have a backup bow, but it broke. Um, there is a thermometer slash humidity meter thing that I have never used because it doesn't have batteries and a little badge from PMEA orchestra stuff. Although the case does fulfill the requirements that I was looking for, there are some things that really bother me about it, so I'll just go over those right now. Um, so first and foremost, the most annoying thing about this case is it is really bad about holding in um, bows. As you can see, these knobs are super loose. They spin like pinwheels. And a lot of times I'll open the case and just find the bow free floating like this. And that is really bad. So that is the one thing that I hate above all about this case. And you can't even tighten them because there's no groove for a screwdriver here. So that drives me absolutely bonkers. The only other thing that really bothers me about this case is it is really top heavy. So even when I don't have any music in the top section, it does tend to tip over a lot, which wouldn't happen if I cut off this strap here, but I don't want to because then I'll have a lot of filaments of strings hanging off and I'm not a fan of that. Getting to the exciting part, this is James, my baby. Isn't he just gorgeous? Um, right now I have a rubber mute, as always, and a damp it in here because it's winter, so it's dry. And for strings, right now on the A, D, and E, I have Larson's. And then the G string is a really old Ava Perazzi because my Larson broke. Um, but I'll talk more about strings later. In this compartment, I keep my shoulder rest which is a, however you pronounce that. It's a pretty new one. I only got it this past year. And I brought down my old one just because I thought it was kind of silly and I wanted to show you. Um, this is the case that the new one came in, by the way, which I thought was super beautiful and I was very happy with it. Um, it also came with a bag that I don't use. So this is the old one. It is a standard coon that many people use. Um, what I really liked about it was it had the collapsible feet, so it was very easy to fit in the case. Um, but the rubber was really starting to wear down here. Just like coming off on the edge. Uh, but the reason I had to get the new shoulder rest was, as you can see, the foam is completely gone. No matter what I tried, whether it be gluing it down or taping it or wrapping a rubber band around it, this foam piece would always fall off and I finally lost it one day after an outdoor performance but for the one or two weeks that I wasn't able to get a new one yet I had to deal with this plastic edge digging into my collarbone which was no fun but this did serve me well between 2005-ish and last year. Now back to the case. Um, so in this section I also keep a harmonica just for fun and my metronome. Unfortunately, this metronome slash tuner is broken right now, so I've had to use apps on my phone. Uh, so right now I'm using the G Strings app for tuning and something else for metronome, I can't remember. Sorry. Um, so in here I have my rosin, and then I also keep a bent paper clip in here for scratching the rosin if I want to give it a little extra oomph in the sound. I also have a little bag of uh, wooden mutes and a practice mute in here. Oh, where is it? Here. Practice mute. Um, there's a bag of hardware for the case and some wood varnish for polishing my violin every once in a while. I also keep a little piece of iron wool in here. My teacher uses 
them for cleaning off his strings when they get a lot of residue from the rosin. So when I use it, I make sure to put a cloth down between the body of the instrument and the string so I don't scratch the wood by accident, because that would be bad. What I realized while I was filming this video is I'm actually missing something that I usually always keep in here. Um, it's what I like to call peg chapstick, and it looks like a little chapstick container, but it's brown and you rub it on the pegs during the summer when they get super stiff and difficult to turn. But mine is missing, and I'm actually really upset because I use it every summer, and I don't know where it is. So hopefully I'll find it when I move out of this house. In this section, I keep black and white thread with a needle. This is actually super useful. It has saved me and my musician peers from many a wardrobe malfunction before going on stage. Um, not as useful is this pencil that is not sharpened. Uh, I also have a little charm that my aunt gave me when we were living in Taiwan, and I think it's super cute. Um, it's got my key to the case attached, which I never use, but it's nice to have. I also have this little guy for keeping underneath the fa focus, thank you, uh, for keeping underneath the fingerboard just to relieve some of the pressure when it's not being used, but I've stopped using it because it started to come apart and leave some gunk on my, my instrument, so I'll have to get a new one next time I go to my violin guy. Speaking of important people, I keep some business cards in here. So this one's from Curtis. I won't show you the cards because they have information, but my teacher and my violin guy and my bow guy and just some ensembles that I have been in the past. As every musician needs, I keep a pair of nail clippers in here. These are the most amazing nail clippers you will ever use in your life which you won't. I cannot stress enough how amazing these nail clippers are. The sides are closed so your clippings don't go flying all over the place. And then the way that they cut your nails is super gentle and smooth so that your nails already feel like they've been cut for several days right off the bat. So I love them. I am obsessed. And then this nail file I don't really need because the clippers are so amazing, but I keep it in here anyway. I also have a little piece of my boyfriend's cello that broke off and it was very sad, but I kept it. And finally, don't judge me, but here is my cloth for cleaning off my instrument. It is super gross and dirty right now. I know I have to wash it, um, but yeah, so that's all I have in that pocket. So that is everything on the interior of the case. Uh, moving on to this upper section. This is where I keep my sheet music, of course whatever I'm working on at the time. Right now I'm working on Saint-Saëns Concerto No. 3. I have a legit copy coming in the mail, so do not fret. I also have some orchestra music in here, and you'll notice there is no etude book because I'm not working on one right now. Shh, don't tell anyone. I have a functional pencil for marking music. I also have some extra strings, both old and new. Um, so right now I'm kind of in the process of experimenting with different strings. So as I said, I have Larson's on my violin right now. I was also trying out some Ava Perazzi's a while back. I wasn't a huge fan, but everyone's tastes and instruments are different. And of course I have the standard dominance. I used to have these on the A, D, and G, and then the Perastro Gold E. I have not found an E string that I like as much as these, so when I change my strings in a couple weeks for my concerto, I'm going to put this new one on and the Larson's for the rest. I also have a little bag of money in here, not my own. I am the treasurer for my university orchestra, so when I get money, I'll stick it in there before moving it to a more permanent, secure location. Uh, these are some notes that I wrote myself a while ago. Finally, this is a little envelope with a $10 bill inside. Uh, when we were doing our eighth grade end of the middle school career award ceremony, I won the orchestra award. I actually thought it was kind of weird because usually when you win an award you just get a certificate or something, and instead they decided to give people $10 bills. I kept this as the first time I ever got money from playing the violin, so that is all I really hit my hand. So that is all I really wanted to share. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring. It felt kind of boring as I was filming it, so you're still here for some reason. What are you doing here? Go practice your instrument. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, DFTBA.